Okay, hello people, welcome back to part 42. As you can see, I've got a headlight bracket. Hello people, yes, welcome back. Um, this has finally arrived. Um, placed the order on the 5th of November 2018 and today is uh, the 5th of December. Crikey, this thing took forever to get here. Um, it was 15 US dollars for shipping. And uh, yeah, God, that's shocking. Anyway, it's here, I'm happy. Um, I hope it's uh, what I'm after. So let's go out to the bike and uh, throw it on. I'll have my biscuit first. There she is in all her glory. Not really sure how I'm going to top uh, the last video, part 41. I was so chuffed um, having this thing firing up. Got a few little issues to uh, sort out. Uh, nothing major I don't think um, I think I've got a bit of an exhaust leak on this front cylinder I could feel um, what felt like the exhaust coming out so something to look at there um, but let's get this uh, temporary bracket off and uh, disconnect the light off of here and get this new bracket on see what she looks like So these clamps here, um, apparently you can undo them and just slip them around uh, without having to take anything off, which is good. Um, so yeah, we shall do that now. Okay, so the kit come with this little, these little rubber sticky strips that you can run through there. Um, I don't think I actually need them. Um, they s I've only got it sort of uh, nipped up and it seems to be gripping really well. Um, so I don't really want to stick that stuff in there if I don't have to, because I want to be able to slide it up and down. Um, but I'll do a test fit first and we'll see how sturdy it is and go from there. So these are the brackets. And these actually slot into, into that point there. So I've got to take that one out and uh, get these ones in first. Okay, so I'm not actually sure um, which bracket I should have put on here. Um, do I want them going up or do I want them going down? Um, I'll throw it on the fork and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so that's with the bracket in the up position. So these holes here must be M10s, my bolt's not, oops, um, so yeah, it comes with these little sort of uh, reducers or shims, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so that's with the brackets pointing up. I'll swap everything around and I'll have it with the brackets pointing down and uh, see what that looks like. Now I'm obviously going to be changing these um, probably to those but these are a bit too long um, so I'll probably cut these down but uh, for testing purposes only um, yeah Okay, so that's with the bracket swapped around, and that is definitely how they're supposed to be. Absolutely, that's how they're supposed to be.
All right, let's go. Awesome, job done. Okay, so these holes here are supposed to be for indicators. Um, that ain't gonna go through there, no way in the world. Um, plus it looks a bit silly, I think. Um, now these indicators, I know some of you don't like them, but they're staying for now. Um, yeah, I could probably get some dinky little things, but um, the budget has been well and truly blown, as you probably already know. So um, we'll be sticking with these ones for now. Um, whether they stay down here, or whether I do something else, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, loving the bracket though, it looks good. So yeah, one thing I want to try is uh, I want to fire the bike up while I am uh, sitting on it. So, uh, this is my oil pressure light by the way too. Um, the other slight issue I think I may have is my alternator is not working. Um, you can see my voltage is at 12.8 volts. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to go up to 13 or 14 when the engine's running. Um, something else to investigate, I think. But, uh, small things to worry about. Okay, so where are we up to? Um, well, I found where my exhaust leak is coming from. Um, it's coming from these gaps here. Um, it's actually blowing back. Um, so I'm gonna have to investigate into that. Now the stock um, muffler on the BMW um, had slots in here with little clamps. Um, so I may have to look and do in that. Um, not sure yet, I have to do some investigating. Um, the next problem I had um, was I had an oil leak um, from from here dripping off of here. Um, so I pulled this cover off um, and I lost all my um, my coolant. So I'm going to have to uh, get some uh, more more antifreeze coolant stuff. Um, and I noticed that there is uh, nine bolts holding this front cover on and there are six holding the actual um, oil pump water pump to the engine and i only had five in there um, so um, i cleaned it all up um, put the six bolts in put everything back together um, and i've just got some uh, water in here now just to test and uh, yeah beautiful so um, a bit of a foolish mistake on my part um, but also a relief because it was a reasonably easy fix you just couldn't see these other ones because they're behind this cover here so um, I didn't even see it um, probably with my excitement of trying to get the thing running um, maybe don't know um, next thing is the clutch um, as you can see I've got a cable here um, this is not the finished product by any means. Now the stock BMW one has a huge massive um, adjust end on it which was no way was going to fit in here. Um, I don't actually know what I've done with it but anyway. Um, so this one here is actually a spare clutch cable I bought for the Virago and it actually fits um, pretty well. Um, it's just in there temporarily at the moment until I um, get online and find something that's going to uh, replace this 
uh, properly. But yeah, um, so that's where I'm up to with that. Now, uh, while I was mucking around with the oil and water pump, I threw in the cable which does the um, water temperature. Um, at the moment it's staying cold, so we'll fire her up. See, um, doesn't start working until it reaches 40, 40 degrees C. Um, but yeah, got that working. Um, also, I still haven't investigated my alternator um, whether that voltage, uh, whether it should be charging higher than that. Someone can tell me, that'll be good. Also, the fuel pump, um, it's quite noisy. Um, not sure if that's how they are. Um, I haven't got a heck of a lot of fuel in there, so the fuel pump's not submerged. Um, it did make a lot of noise when I first, that very first time I um, powered it up, and I think it was just circulating a whole lot of air and getting all the crap out of it. Um, so, yeah, if somebody can tell me if that's a standard noise that the fuel pump makes and it will be a lot quieter when it's fully submerged um, that'll be good you can't hear it when the engine's running um, but when you turn the ignition on it sure does sort of quite noisy so yeah that's where we're up to um, I think I'll leave this video here haven't got much for you um, super busy at work coming up to the end of the year so um, haven't gotten around to getting my um, brake lines done or anything like that yet hopefully get that done over the Christmas break so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and we shall see you in the next one